Hey, Scott Austin here. In this video, I'm going to show you how in the Flex theme, you can take a, any given section that you're showing on the home page, a product, or a page, wherever, wherever you're using a section. And you can say, this section, I only want to show it on desktop, or I only want to show it on mobile. Um, and let me show you an example of how that works. So here I am on the home page of Fit My Foot, and I've got these press logos, and there's 10 of them on desktop. And you'll notice when I switch to the mobile view, there's only four of them. So I use this hiding and showing between desktop and mobile um, to make that happen, to show 10 on desktop and uh, four on mobile. Let's go in the back end and look at theme customization. And what you'll see is over here on the home page, I've got two logo lists. Um, this is the one with 10, and this is the one with four logos in them. Now, if we click on the one with 10, um, over on the right where we have the details for the section, if I scroll down, you'll see this CSS class. And I typed in show desktop. Right? On the mobile version, I typed in show mobile. So by adding that CSS class right there, that's what's hiding on, on mobile, the desktop one. So the desktop one is shown on mobile, hidden on desktop. And the logo list for the mobile, where it says show mobile, that is shown on mobile and hidden on desktop. Now, the Flex theme has CSS classes that automatically do this, but I always forget the naming of them because they're not as intuitive to me as show mobile and show desktop. So I always just make my own, and it's really easy to do. It's just a few lines of code. So here in my, uh, I always make a custom CSS file, All right? So you can see here I have a jadepuma.css.liquid file. So I don't edit styles.css.liquid, you know, which is the themes CSS file. I only edit or I add additions to CSS in my custom file. So here is, you know, the few lines of code it takes to do the show mobile and show desktop functionality um, where on the normal display, so this is, you know, on desktop, uh, we're hiding the mobile, so display is none, and we're showing the desktop, display is blocked. And then when the screen is less than 798 pixels, then we're showing the mobile, and we're hiding the desktop, display is none for desktop. Now, the Flex theme has three major breakpoints, or two major breakpoints for three major screen sizes. So they have the mobile, and the breakpoint for mobile is 480, 480 pixels. And then they, from between 480 pixels and 798 pixels, that's the tablet screen size. And then desktop is anything that's 799 or over. So here, you know, I could have had a show mobile, show desktop, and show tablet, but that just means you have to think more and, and add the right elements in. You know, you would, you would add show mobile, a CSS class, and show tablet, and it's just too confusing to remember. So I, I keep it simple. There's just mobile and desktop, and in this case, I've designated that mobile also applies to tablet. If I wanted mobile to only apply to mobile and assign tablet to desktop, then I just change this max width uh, here, right? So now I want to use this sort of functionality, the min width of 481. So I would change this max width 798 pixels to min width uh, 481 pixels, and that means any screen size, 481 pixels or greater, which is both the tablet and the desktop, um, would then be in, in that bucket. So you can set this up any way you want, and you can you know change, change the numbers or the screen sizes, the pixel width, to suit your particular need. And that's why I like you know creating my own code for this once again, instead of using the code um, inside of the CSS file that's, that's built into the Flex theme. If we go over to that CSS file, you'll see here they've got uh, is hidden uh, where is it? is is hidden desktop only is hidden mobile only. I like the show because it's more of a positive where hidden is the negative and it makes me have to think an extra step. And the only always confuses me because they're actually doing it for desktop, their mobile and tablet. So that's why you know you can use these CSS classes if you want. Is, mobile, is hidden mobile only and is hidden desktop only, and they work fine, um, but I always get confused by those, so that's why I make my own. And let's just show you one more thing here. If you're gonna create your own CSS file, 
which I highly recommend you do if you're you're editing your own theme. All right, let's go into our theme.liquid and just show you really quickly here. What you want to do is whatever the theme.liquid is doing to styles.css, and it loads styles.css two different places, right? Here's a preload, and then here's the actual loading it as a style sheet. So wherever you see the styles.css, after it, not before it, after it, so that your CSS file will override the theme's CSS settings. Um, you want to add whatever the line above it for style CSS was, copy and paste it, and then just place your CSS file name there instead. And you can see here, I did that in two different places. So that'll get your, that'll get the styles.css to load up first, which has, you know, most of the CSS for the theme. And then, you know, the, the fewer, you know, your, your file is going to be much smaller. So it'll just override any particular settings that are set in styles.css when, when you load it up afterwards. Because that's the way the, the cascading logic works in CSS files. So then in theme customization, right, you can just change, you know, you can add that CSS class, show mobile or show desktop. Um, as you want and then a lot of times I will you know in this situation I wanted to show 10 and 4 and if I go here to the, the mobile you'll see the, the 4 show up so I end up using this a lot because um, there's a lot of sections in uh, the flex theme that aren't as responsive as you want them to be or as that I as I want them to be um, like this one here is actually pretty responsive right the uh, image with text overlay because we can put in a mobile image and a desktop image so that's pretty good um, but sometimes I want different text on mobile and desktop and I can't do that within this section so I'll create two instances of the section with the text for mobile and the, te the text for desktop different and then use this show desktop show mobile CSS class to have it show up on the, the appropriate screen so hopefully that all makes sense for you let me know if you got any questions Thanks for watching.